<laughs> Not the kind of big lady I'm interested in. Oh, uh, jump towards Mark Wall from a wall jump. <laughs> sir, excuse me, sir. I don't think he, the game is supposed to work that way. Uh, Star Killer a million times over. Star Killer probably bodies Cal while also holding off Darth Vader. Let's be honest. Darth Vader is the only person who maybe stands a chance against him. And he's also beaten Darth Vader in the past. Star Killer beats Luke. That's actually like. I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing, but. <laughs> but Starkiller is ridiculously OP. Aside from some characters from ancient history and the lore, I don't think anyone has ever been as strong as Starkiller. Well, well. Starkiller was really OP. The other stuff I said might be a hot take, but Starkiller beats Cal Kestis is the coldest take in all of history. <laughs> it's just obvious. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Cal will do some crazy shit by the end of this game and change my mind, but certainly as it stands now... <laughs> I mean, uh, not to reference the obvious meme example, but the fucking Starkiller did literally pull a Star Destroyer out of space with the Force, <laughs> so... <laughs> fucking Cal Kestis didn't have Force pull at the beginning of his game. <laughs> How does he uh, stand up to Starkiller? He does not. Okay. <laughs> It's funny, Nathan asked me the same... Okay, you gotta understand, here's the secrets of events when while playing this stream, with obviously some things left out. Um, I said early on in the stream, I was like, I'm still annoyed that uh, Starkiller isn't canon anymore, but uh, at least we get a new series of games, uh, you know, that are pretty sick. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> Nathan shows up in the fucking comments and is like, okay, who wins, Cal Kestis or Starkiller? <laughs> And I told him the same thing I'm going to tell you right now. Fucking Starkiller could kill a hundred Cal Kestis. <laughs> Damn. Well, that's not the same way I said it, but he absolutely bodies Cal Kestis. It's not even close. No, I can believe it. He does pull a fucking cruiser out of orbit. <laughs> yeah, Starkiller with the... Ex uh, this looks cheesable. Starkiller, with the exception of some, like, deep lore characters I don't really know or care about, mm -hmm. Starkiller is, like, the strongest character in lore. <laughs> Speaking of which... Geez nuts! Grease nuts? Fucking grease nuts! Why does he look so fucking PS1? <laughs> Cal, why the fuck hey, do you give a stop shit? stop bullying the PS1 creature. Hey! I want in on that shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, feet! You're the fucking guy from Halo Infinite. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. He needed some man anger management classes, my man. Is that Invader Zim? Grease really outdid himself. Let's stop the rug open. Thank him for fucking drawing right on the rug. What the hell, dude? You just fucking. Gave your fucking glow-in-the-dark cum all over my rug, man. <laughs> all cum is glow-in-the-dark. Under a black light. Oh my god. Who built this ground? It is not OSHA compliant. Bro, just fucking jump. God built this ground. Bro, fucking jump. Oh my god. 
I'm telling you, man. You see what I mean when I say Cal wouldn't stand a chance against <laughs> Star Killer? Star Killer would have like this fucking thing where he's falling down and murdering stormtroopers the whole way down. If you had a chance to explore an alien world that we know nothing about, would you do it? No. Why not? We know nothing about it. It could just instantly kill me. True. Yeah, me too. It's not your problem anymore, then. I mean, you, I, you'd be right. Nothing would be my problem anymore. Ah! Um. Leave it to Justin. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Jedi powers. Justin moment. Cream soda or root beer? Root beer. A very high chance it explodes. I had a choice to make and the possum got to live. <laughs> Ow. Try flying now. If I don't move, will they still come for me? They will! Ow. Run! <laughs> Flesh giraffe. I got a bad feeling about Bode. Like, he's done nothing to warrant it, but I just got this feeling that he's gonna end up betraying us. I have a feeling the Empire is going to kidnap his daughter, because I think he mentioned having a daughter, and use her as leverage to find this location, and that's how this fucking place is going to get destroyed. And I also think Seer is probably going to die in this game. Is that Matt Mercer? What the fuck? That's literally Matt fucking Mercer. The group chat right now is talking about how they're working on uh, computer-based training at work, and it's abbreviated as CBT. Quite appropriate. Ow. Ow. Could you stop? Excuse me. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I wonder how the fuck she explained that. Like... Get a medical droid in here, and prepare a back to tank. Uh, he slipped, and his arm fell off. Yeah, that's what we're going with. Ah! Oh my god, I, I somehow managed to iframe it. Oh my god, leave me alone! Ah! Oh, you're an enemy. Now you're a corpse. I forgot that does a shockwave. It's <laughs> 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 fucking give me a checkpoint already. Jesus. Come on. He looked kind of dumb with like only slight stubble. But not like a full beard. Oh shit, they fucked. It finally happened, boys. Cal finally got laid. I fucking knew it. Yes, because a wingman is an action while a bro is a code. And he has failed the bro code. <laughs> you know, with this facial hair, I kind of fit in. I kind of looked the part. And we're gonna kill your dad. <laughs> Look, all I gotta say is I put the goatee on and suddenly Cal became evil. 